And oh, you know what? It may take me a minute to, and I apologize now if my, hopefully my, my internet's being, been pretty good for the most part this morning, but it started to kind of have hiccups with the last group. So, um, all right. So making, making inferences and drawing conclusions. Another, that's, we also say making inferences when we, um, we look at clues and we kind of infer like what we think is going to happen. So let me share my screen. And Savannah and Heidi, you have paper and pencil? I need to go find them. All right, go grab real quick. See, so oh no. Well, good. You have a minute because it's making me log in again. Yay. Can you guys see that? Can you see the, the screen for the reading? Awesome. Games are hard and beautiful. Bones found deep in the earth. I see Savannah, we're still waiting on her. <sighs> Heidi, you're good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Okay, so when we read, we learn details, we learn pieces of information, right? And sometimes we can connect those details of what we know to help us better understand what we read. So, treasures from nature. If you, if you want to follow along with me, I'm going to mute you, Savannah. Stones, animals, are beautiful stones found deep in earth. Some of them have bright colors, some sparkle and shine. People around the world have always used gems for jewelry. Oh, you were reading, Charlotte. I was just, I didn't want to read over you. Do you are you guys good to read it on your own? You don't need me to read it, right? Um, I'm good. Okay, I'll give you a minute to, to read it over. I'm all done. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. All right, guys. Cool. Done. Okay, so again, drawing inferences and it's making connections from what we read to what we already know. So looking at paragraph one, why do you think that people always use gems for jewelry? So as people around the world have always used gems for jewelry. Give us some information, but why do you think that is? Why do you think people always use gems for jewelry? Charlotte. Um, because it says gems are hard and beautiful, so they're beautiful, and jewelry is beautiful. And if 
it drops, then like they're hard, so it won't break. And um, some have bright colors, some sparkle and shine. That's what it says. Yeah. So they're hard, so maybe they're durable. You know, you're gonna wear it, and it's not like if you accidentally hit your hand on something, it's just gonna break, and that's it. Um, they're beautiful, different colors. They sparkle and shine, right? Jewelry is about, what do we know about jewelry? It's about like kind of adorning yourself and, you know, bringing attention and, you know, looking lovely, right? Well, gems, so therefore we could say like gems are, are really pretty. They're beautiful to look at. So they're used for jewelry. All right, so paragraph two, why do you think miners work so hard to find gems? Finding gems is very difficult. Miners go deep underground to dig for them. Sometimes the miners chip and cut at bigger rocks. They search for their smaller gems inside. Why do you think they work so hard? So that's gonna be like part of that taking so we know we just read that they go really deep they work really hard to find these gems so that's the new information that you're going to connect to maybe some previous information and make an inference of why it, why do you think they work so hard charlotte because they probably get paid for the job very well and um because some miners may find it fun and others um, because also because um, gems are um, not all of them are rare, but some of them can be very rare, like um, the blue diamond. Mm -hmm. Diamonds in general are actually very rare, but the blue diamond is very rare. Yeah, so I heard you say like one of the first things you said was they probably get paid a lot of money. Like, it tends to be that dangerous jobs, like mining for precious gemstones and diamonds, would pay a little bit more, right? They're going to work really hard to, to get that money. And we know that gems are used for jewelries and things. They're valuable. It's not like you can just walk down the street and, oh, look, there's a bunch of gemstones lying on the side of the road. So because of that, because they're so difficult and beautiful and people want them, they're going to be expensive. So. And looking at paragraph three, why do you think the Hope Diamond is in a museum and not in a store? So Charlotte talked a little bit about this. She said like the diamonds are rare. Blue diamonds are even rarer. hear from somebody other than Charlotte. Why do you think the Hope the Hope Diamond is in a museum and not in a store? Why isn't it why isn't it at a jewelry store on for sale? We know they sell diamonds at stores. Maybe maybe your parents have a diamond. A lot of people wear diamonds in their wedding or engagement ring. Why isn't the Hope Diamond? Heidi? Maybe it's, maybe it's because um, they put the pack them, clean them, hit all the dirt and stuff. It's pretty yucky. Um, I think that... Okay, I, you're kind of breaking up. I think you said you were talking about um, they have to clean the diamonds, right? Yeah, because they got them out of the dirt. Right. Well, that is true. They definitely, they'll, once they get them, they find them, they clean them and polish them. A lot of times they might, like, cut them. But why do you think uh, the Hope Diamond is in a museum and not at a store? Athena? Because there's not that much of them. It's really rare, right? What does that word rare mean? Charlotte? Not that much. Um, like valuable and can't find it really anywhere else. And it's like one of a kind. 
Right. So if it's like one of a kind, do you think that, I mean, let's say that the Hope Diamond was for sale. Do you think that it would be expensive or not so expensive? Expensive. It's going to be expensive. We could maybe draw the conclusion that it might be too expensive for most people to buy, right? Mm -hmm. So if they had it in a store, it we could draw the conclusion that it could sit there in the store for all this time and never be purchased. And what else might happen if the Hope Diamond was at the store? What else could happen, Charlotte? It could get stolen. It could get stolen, right? In a museum, like, I think it's in the, does it say? It says in a museum in Washington, DC. So it's, I think it's on display in the Smithsonian, which is a very huge museum that's full. It has all the security and it's very much, things very much protected because at the Smithsonian, they have all kinds of very rare, valuable things that they keep safe there. So they want to, it's like, this is so rare. They want to keep it safe. And then they've also made a way so people can see it. So we can kind of draw those conclusions of like, yeah, it's too expensive. People can't purchase it. So great job, guys. That's, that's what it is to make inferences and draw conclusions. We take the information we know and we kind of like go a step further of like, oh yeah, well, gems are always used for jewelry because they're so beautiful and shiny and they're durable. Miners are gonna dig for them because because they are valuable, they're going to make some money if they do it, if they find it. They're going to be able to get some money in return for that. All right. Good job. So let's do another one. And this time... Oh, I forgot to turn it. Treasures from nature, there's that one. So we could just use something really simple. Um, hold on. Hold on just a second. Sorry. I'm going to pause. 